Hello, welcome to the CATIA video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to see more sketch tools inside a CATIA V5. So in the last video tutorial, we have seen these three options that is profile, rectangle and circle options. Uh, so now let's try to understand spline options. So inside a spline tools, you can see these are the two tools. One is called as a spline and second one is called as a connect. So let's try to first understand the spline tool. So the spline tool is same as what we have used inside a SOLIDWORKS. Okay, similar kind of tool, but uh, SOLIDWORKS offers much many more types of spline tools like B spline and all these things. But here you won't see uh, such kind of things. So, so this is what I was sketch. Okay, now uh, suppose I, I create another spline over here. Okay, in the similar fashion as I draw this one. Okay, and uh, now if I want to connect these two splines, okay, then I can use make use of this connect tool. Okay, so when I select this connect tool, you can see different different options inside the sketch tools. Okay, you can just move it side, and you can see the first option is called as connect with an arc. Second is called as a connect with the spline. Third one is called as a uh, connect uh, continuity in point, continuity in tangency, and continuity in curvature. Now this one is selected connect with the spline. Now, when I select this tool and I select uh, this curve and then this curve, then automatically this is this spline is basically inserted. Now, when you try to double click on this spline, you can also uh, again define this curve. Okay, so here you can uh, provide continuity option like curvature, point, and tangency. Okay, suppose I change this to the tangency, then you can see these two two arrows. And you can you can also swap this direction of these two arrows in order to change the curvature. Okay, here also you can uh, provide increase the tension. Okay, when you increase tension, the the slope of this curve is going to change at this uh, point. So that is what uh, we can see by means of this increasing this tension. So by default it will be one, and uh, you can change this as you want. Also, you can uh, reverse direction this arrow direction by means of this reverse direction arrow uh, click. Okay, uh, similarly over here. Okay, and uh, here the curve is by default spline one, first one, second one also spline two, and point is control point. This is the control point basically. Okay, so in this way we can basically uh, edit the tension and continuity options by double click on this curve. Okay, so. This is the way to use spline and this uh, connect spline uh, tool inside a CATIA V5. Suppose we try to use similar uh, tool, and but here uh, we are saying this connect with the arc. Okay. Now we are selecting this point and then this point. Okay. Then you can see that arc has been created. Okay. Now you cannot modify this arc uh, because it will disturb your uh, disturb your tangency relation basically over here. So that's why. Uh, you can make use of the different options inside these tools but uh, be uh, sure that what you want to do actually and then you can proceed with uh, options over here so that's all in this video tutorial but uh, in our upcoming video tutorials we are going to see uh, more options like this uh, ellipse as well as parabola hyperbola line and axis as well as point option thank you